Welcome to OpenMentor.net. Let us see some arithmetic operations in COBOL. In the last session we have seen about the variable declarations. I have declared four variables WSA, B, C and X. A, B and C are numeric just two digits and the X is alphanumeric one character. What I have done is I accept value for WSA from user, WSB from user. I use a verb add, add WSA to WSB and then I am displaying, display result is this string and then say WSB. So what I am going to do is I am going to compile this and then see how it works. This is a pure arithmetic, this is equal to adding A and B and then the result is stored in WSB. So let us compile this. I am passing that to error list. Make sure always you see that error. If there is no errors, we are good to go. Very good. So we run this program. So now I am saying add 24. A is 24. B is 32. The result is C. I said add W is A to B, so 24 plus 32, so B becomes 56. It is there, type exit to exit. Now I am going out. So this is two character. Now watch this. I run this. I give A as 45, B as 70. When I do that, actually the value is 115, but it says result is 15. It doesn't say result is 115. Let me exit. The reason why what we have done is we have got WSB as only 92. It can store only two digits. So always the last rightmost two digits are stored. Rest of them are ignored. So if you want to add do arithmetic, make sure your picture class is enough to have those things or contain them. So you need to make sure that you have enough values there, enough digits there. Now what I have to do is I want to do is subtraction. So what I'm going to do is I comment this line. Instead of this, I'm going to subtract. Okay. Rather than add, I say subtract subtract WSA from WSB. Let us try this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is it is a minus operation. Previously we did add, now we do subtract. So in COBOL you could see very simple statements like this. Now let me execute this. A is 30, B is 40, so 40 minus 30 is 10. This is clear. So this is exactly what we do rather than writing this is equivalent to WSB equal to WSB minus WSA. Instead I am writing in simple English. So let us do the same thing with multiplication. Uh, I put the star on the seventh column to make it as a comment. Now I say multiply WSA by WSB and I want to store the result, I say giving WSC, okay. Let us try this syntax, see what happens. Now, let us execute this. So we have seen addition, subtraction, now we are seeing multiplication. Now we say multiply WSA by WSB, this is equivalent to WSC equal to WSA star WSB. Now let us execute this. A, I am giving the value of 5, B, I am giving the value of 7, C is, it says 0, 7. Why is it giving that value? So we need to check why it is having this. Let us check this out. Now look at this. The reason it says 0, 7, it is, the, my first mistake is, I was supposed to print the value of C, but I printed the value of B, okay. So that is the first logical mistake. There is no syntactical or grammar mistake here. I should have printed this value of C. So that is my first mistake. 
But the other one is when I gave only 7, he prints the WSC, WSB as 0, 7. Since it is two characters, all the leftmost characters will be filled with zeros. So that is one way good. So now I am making this correction as WSC. Save this file. Compiling again. Let us do the compilation. It is done. Let us check. There is no errors. Let us run it once again. Always when you compile, check the error. So 5 into 7, 35 is the result. Okay. Now, we have seen addition, subtraction, multiplication. What is the last step? The next step will be division. So what I am going to do is divide WSA by WSB, okay, giving WSC. Okay. This is division. Let us compile it. Check the compilation results. No problem. Run it. WSA I am making as 50. WSB I am making as 5. So 50 divided by 5 is 10 which is perfect. Now, when we do this in uh, division, we have one more thing. I want to get the remainder. So, I am putting one more variable WSD picture 9 of 2. What I am going to do is giving WSC, it will give the quotient hovi over here. Then I say remainder WSD. So, what will happen is quotient will go to WSC reminder will go to WSD. Now let us print this also comma WSD and make sure you don't have any syntactic errors. Okay, let us now compile it. Good, no problem. Let us execute this. Now I am going to do WSA as 32. WSB as 7. So, 32 divided by 7. Quotient is 4. I should have given a comma, right? 4 7s are 38. Then another 4 is the reminder. So, I could have given a comma over there. So, 0 4 is the quotient. 0 4 is the reminder. So, if you want to have arithmetic, basic arithmetic, add, subtract, multiply and divide. I want to have a complex formula. Then what you do is use the word compute. Compute WSC equal to, what I am going to do is A plus B into A minus B. So, WSC equal to WSA plus WSB star WSA minus WSB. So, I am putting a, a compute, a complex formula. So, instead of doing in regular languages, you don't use the word compute. You will simply write this formula. Whereas in COBOL, you use the additional keyword compute. So, WSC equal to A plus B into A minus B. Let us print this, compile this and then see it. Good, there is no problem. Let us execute. A, I am making as 4. B, I make it as 2. So, this means 4 plus 2 is 6, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 into 6 is 12, so which is the result. So, the basic arithmetic is add, subtract, multiply, divide, you can get the quotient as well as the reminder. Then any complex formula, you can use compute, you can use the brackets to make sure which one has to be evaluated. So, this is fundamental arithmetic. Let us stop here. Thank you.